Hi, I'm Frank Hansen with Iowa Realty, and I'm here today at STC Dive Center with Steve Kitchen. Steve, thanks for having me here oh, today. Sure, my pleasure. All right, can you tell me a little bit about STC Dive? Well, it started off um, in May of 2018 uh, when I took over Matt Lydon's dive shop that had been um, in existence for over 60 years at, oh, at, well. at that time. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so even though it's got a new name, I've been part of, I, I, I was actually part of the old shop for over 40 years then. Oh, wow. Yeah. That, that's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So how long have you been diving? Uh, in May, it'll be 45 years. 45 years. Where, where Do you usually dive right around here? Around um, no, I've dove five, five times in Iowa, but I've dove throughout the Midwest, uh, down in Florida, as well as... Um, um, in the Caribbean area, like uh -huh. Cozumel, Belize, oh, nice. uh, Bonaire, places like that. Nice. Well, what's the most interesting dive you've had? Oh, probably um, in Bonaire was, was really uh, kind of different there. Uh -huh. And also in Florida, because we get to go into caverns. In fact, I'm cavern certified. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you, you go in the cavern underneath the water yeah. and... That seems like it'd be a little scary to me. <laughs> yeah, you can always see the way out in a cavern. Where, oh, can you? Yeah. I, oh, I don't okay. do cave. That's a whole different animal. Oh, than yeah. I do cavern. So tell me about uh, classes here at STC. Well, we usually do uh, three classes, uh, fall, winter, and spring each. Uh -huh. And then summer we'll do uh, one or two classes. Believe it or not, summers are slow time. Oh, wow. Yeah, Iowans like to travel. So wintertime they're traveling, so they'll take the fall class and go travel somewhere. And then you got spring break, so right. during the winter they'll take the class and go someplace for spring break. Summer, who wants to go to a hot place? <laughs> <laughs> so what, uh, about if I were to take the class, about how long would it take me to be certified as a dive, hmm. diver? As far as classes go, we usually do them on Monday evening in Urbandale. Um, we'll do them at one of the high schools on Wednesday evening, and then Saturday we're out at the Altoona campus, mm -hmm. um, both um, the high school and uh, Urbandale, uh, the city of Urbandale. Those are seven-week classes, one time a week, of course. Right. And Altoona is uh, six Saturdays because we have a little more time on Saturday than we do during the week. Once you've completed, you know, it's classroom and pool, once you've completed that, then you have four open water dives to do, which a lot of my people, they have those trips planned. Right. And they'll do their open water dives on their trips. If not, they'll dive with us, and we have trips periodically during the, the, the year at, at different places. Like one we always do is our December trip, as we call right. it. It's right after Christmas. We spend a week in Florida diving those caverns in the springs. Oh, nice. Uh, we bring New Year's in underwater, which is very, very unique. <laughs> <laughs> do what they call the Galaxy Glow, which is a nice deal. Sometimes the cave divers are there, and they have a real grand display when they are down there. Oh, they, wow. That they do. So you bring in the New Year underwater. <laughs> yep. Very, very <laughs> unique. And we always have a trip, usually Memorial uh, Day weekend and mm -hmm. Labor Day weekend as, as well. And now that we have another instructor, he does more local type dot diving in between time. Because obviously you're not going to dive right. in, the, in the winter around here unless you're oh, a nice no. diver. <laughs> <laughs> they, they do have, I, I've noticed when, you know, somebody falls through the ice or something and oh, yeah. unfortunately passes away, they have to dive down and look for the body. Yeah. I don't think I'd want to do that in no. Iowa in the winter time. <laughs> uh, no, but that's what dry suits are for. Um, I have done a little bit of work with the city of Des Moines uh, uh, dive and recovery teams or search, uh -huh. search and, and recovery team. Right. Is it really, are the dive suits really that warm? Uh, the dry suits can be. They even make a dry suit that has a heated line, liner even. Oh, nice. Um, I don't care to do ice diving. I tell people ice goes in my cup. I don't <laughs> go, go, go into ice. <laughs> <laughs> so then when you go on these trips you take your students with you or yeah. they go with you yeah 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 the students that don't go say elsewhere they want to be fully certified before they go on their trips they'll go with us on these other trips and mm -hmm. uh, we'll do the open water dives uh, 
over over a weekend or over a couple of weekends, depending on their schedule. Uh, we try to be flexible here. Mm -hmm. We're also, um, as far as anybody can tell, we are now, the, I know we're the only ones in the Metro that do face-to-face -face classroom. We do offer e-learning as right. well. Um, but I have not been able to find, even in university, which somebody said there was one, I have not found it because Simpson College does do scuba every other year. Yeah. And I know the instructor personally. They do e-learning. So as far as I can tell, I'm the only one in the whole state of Iowa that does face-to-face -face classroom. Uh, I don't know that I would <laughs> want to learn how to dive off the internet. <laughs> well, you still have pool to do even if you do the e-learning for your classroom. Yeah. But the bottom line is you get more hands-on if you come through this shop. Right. And it seems like that's what Iowans want just because um, I do 75 to 100 students a year. Cool, cool. Do you want to tell everybody where you're located? Uh, we're located uh, in Clive, Iowa at 9289 Swanson Boulevard. Um, if you know where the old Nebraska Furni Furniture Mart building is, we're right around the corner from there. And if you were someone were to call, uh, where would they call? Uh, just call the shop here at 515-777-2751. Our hours are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 10 to 6, and Saturday, 2 to 6. So you're open on the weekend. Well, Saturday anyway. Yeah. Tuesdays That's and Thursdays are by appointment only. You have to pre prearrange that. But I need some time off. I'm actually retired. So oh, I see. We're not open every day, plus the demand to be open every day just isn't there. You're I wouldn't say you're retired. <laughs> yeah, that's what my <laughs> wife says too. <Yeah. laughs> well, if uh, if I were to get started, what all would I need uh, in the way of equipment? As far as our classes go, all you need is your own mask, fins, and snorkel. We supply everything else for the class, and if you go on one of our trips, the price includes all the equipment for that. And since our trips are usually a little further away, the price also includes the rooms for the duration of the trip, mm -hmm. all um, air fills, as well as all entry fees. Like Florida, every place we go has entry fees. That's covered in the price as well. So you only have transportation there and back and food to, to actually worry about when you're on one of our dive trips. We don't nickel and dime you to death. Right. So when you say air fills, your for the, tanks. For the tanks, yep. yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. You didn't mean to say air fair. No, 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 no. Air, air fill. Fails. Air fill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Steve, I want to thank you again for having me here. Uh, it's really interesting seeing all the equipment around here. I've never, I've snorkeled, but I've never, never. Well, it's never too late. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It might be. <laughs> well, Matt, uh, he dove at the age of 88. Wow. He would have dove later, but his health prevented him from from diving after, right. after that but he actually dove at the age of 88 wow down in florida right <laughs> <laughs> so if you'd like to uh, take up scuba diving come see steve kitchen at stc diving center yep, out on swanson boulevard and we try to keep most equipment in and usually only takes about a week to get what we don't have well great thanks again mm -hmm.